Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this episode of what the heck is wrong with my paddle this is what's wrong with my paddle this ain't supposed to be in my hand it's supposed to be in the paddle so anyway I got the Warner the Werner Skagit hooked and I just want to make it abundantly clear to everybody that I love this paddle I bash on this paddle physically every time I take it fishing I mean look at this you can see it's got mud all the way up to here I paddle through mud like as like this thing is just a stick it in the mud and push myself through because it's it's awesome it's rock solid except for the fact that this came loose I'm gonna fix this using epoxy and if the epoxy fix doesn't work I'm gonna drill it and pin it because that's one of the things I was curious about in case anybody's ever wondered how does this work or whatever this is how it works apparently they just slide it in there and they glue it up it has some kind of nasty glue in there I took all that out but it's you know it would be straight through but they put a little plastic you can maybe see it in the hole there it's a little blue plastic plug but yeah check it out you can do paddle tricks once it comes out you just stick it in here and it pop if you stew if you hard it it'll pop there you go one more time there we go okay that's enough of the paddle tricks so yeah I'm gonna try to epoxy this thing back in you got to make sure it's indexed correctly because this of course has the 15 degree increment indexing for right and left feathering but yeah like I said it's a great paddle the other thing I wanted to show people is this lock-in system right here that they have this little clever lock-in system I love that it's great this is how it works it's got these little splines and if you look in the hole of yours you'll see that it has little splines also and it's got this little clever button system all that button does is it's got a, a hook that goes right on the inside of that lip and just like grabs it and holds it in you push the button you're just pushing it down to let it off that lip pretty simple pretty simple stuff the only thing in there to go wrong really is that there's a spring in there and I'm assuming they made that spring out of stainless steel because I've rarely rinsed this thing off and it still works great the spring doesn't look rusty you know I don't know maybe they got it all greased up but it is what it is people and it works out great so epoxy time we'll just pop that in there that's on zero degrees so we're gonna stick this in the same way on zero degrees and that will be indexed correctly for when we epoxy this thing together so yeah let's get to doing that all right time to mix up some epoxy if you don't have a good thing to mix epoxy in the bottom of a can works perfect and it's already trash so it ain't like you know you're messing up something good there's a lot of bait out there getting popped i think it's gar though pretty sure it's gar so yeah on all these epoxies especially if the two bottles are the same size you know it's going to be a 50 50 mix so you just squirt a little of this in there make you a little pile about that big we don't need a lot and then put that cap back on pull that cap off you want to make an equal size little pile over here I like to use these little wooden dowels to mix them together and then once you start mixing it together you got five minutes people five minutes I need a lot of time nah plenty of time so we're gonna start the clock
All right, as you can see, I'm not trying to get it out on the top. I just want to get it right down there in the bottom. And I don't want to put any on this because it'll get pushed up toward the joint. And that is not what we want to have happen. I do, however, want to wiggle it all the way on. So that you can get good cohesion. If cohesion is what I'm looking for, it is what I'm gonna get. Okay, I'm gonna slide this up like here. Okay, the air pressure is trying its best to push this thing apart. I was not anticipating that. I think I can hold this for five minutes though. Alright people, let's go do a little bit of fishing from the bank while we wait on our paddle to dry up. Or wait for that resin to cure, whatever you call it, the epoxy. So we have a little flexibility on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the next day after the paddle repair. It feels perfectly solid in there, like it's not wiggling at all. But this side was pretty loose. So I just decided to go ahead and figure out what was going on with it. It looks like they had a little bit of epoxy right around the pinhole here for this thing. So anyway, the way this works is it just sticks in and grabs right on the end of the paddle there. So I can take this thing and I can push it in here until it gets to the button and then that pinhole is lined up and I've got the little pin I've got the little pin worn smooth out I'm gonna have to do something else with it because that's the reason it's so loose if you look closely you can see the step there this is a little fiberglass pin it looks like it's about an eighth of an inch but that's it people you just I guess that little pin is what's holding the whole paddle together in a sense. I mean, that button right there is holding it together also. But see, I just plug the pin back in the hole temporarily. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a more permanent fix on it. But for now, it feels good. I gotta fix my, I didn't put it in at the right angle. Okay, we got zero. I'm a 60 degree kind of guy. So let's pop it in right there. That's it, perfect. I like to paddle this way. Oh, I don't have my ring on here. Here it is right here. Look at that. In the boat already. So let's put the ring on. Get on there, ring. This thing fits tight, people. Okay, ring's on. Paddle back at, I like 60 degrees on this side, so. There we go, okay, now we're good, now we're good. All right, I'm going bare minimum today because I don't have a lot of time to fish. I've only got about an hour, hour and a half, and then I got to get to hill out of here. But the water looks really good and clear. I'm seeing a lot of bait getting busted up on this shoreline right here, so let's go catch some fish. Look at all those mullet over there. I just threw one time and got me plenty of mullet for the whole time I'm gonna be here. One chunk. Let's get this thing floating. We got one mullet he got out of the bait bucket. He said he wants to be the first one on the hook. I can make that happen for you, little buddy. <laughs> 